It may seem impossible to tune your guitar without a tuner, but I'm here to tell you it's entirely possible. In fact, you have two choices that you can make. This acoustic guitar quick win is brought to you by Tony'sAcousticChallenge.com. Tuning your guitar without a tuner is called relative tuning. You're essentially tuning the guitar to itself. Keep that in mind, just in case you're playing with other people, it's always best to cross check with the other instruments around to make sure you're in tune with them. But let's say, just for the sake of this lesson, you're just hanging out at home and you forgot, or you forgot your tuner, or you're just too lazy to go get it. I'm pretty guilty of that. The first step, or the first way to tune your guitar without a tuner is fretted relative tuning. So here's how it works. We're gonna take the fifth fret of the low E string. Go ahead and fret that with whatever finger you find comfortable. And we're gonna match the pitch of that fifth fret of the low E string to the open A string. Now, my guitar sounds pretty good. It's, it sounds in tune, but let's say it wasn't. This is what it would sound like. doesn't quite match. So what I like to do is hold that fretted note down, pluck both strings, and then with my picking hand, I'll reach over and modify the tuning key. I'll do it again just to make sure. You can kind of hear it zone in. Now we're gonna do the next two strings. So we're gonna fret the A string at the fifth fret and match that to the open D string. Subtle little, subtle little change. Now, one of the things that I'll, I'll, I'll help you out with here is so often you get the question, oh gosh, how do I know whether it's in tune? Well, think of it as if it's out of tune, you're gonna hear some wobbling between the two notes. It almost sounds like whoa, 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 whoa. As you get closer to the actual pitch, to, to the pitches matching, that little wobble or that variation gets less and less. So it'll sound like whoa, 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 and pretty soon it'll just sound like one pitch, just like that. So uh, the same is true for the next two strings, the D and the G string, fret the D string at the fifth fret and then strike that against the open G string. So far so good. Now, red flag, huge moment here. When we go to tune the B string, we're gonna fret the G string at the fourth fret and match that note to the open B string. Okay, so that's the only one that changes in the whole series. And then last but certainly not least, the B and the high E string, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna fret that B string at the fifth fret and match that to the open high E. So there you have it, that's the first way. Fretted relative tuning. Fifth fret of the low E, match to the open A. Fifth fret of the A, match to the open D. Fifth fret of the D, match to the open G. Slide over for the G string and the B string, so fourth fret of the G matches the open B. And then the fifth fret of the B matches the open high E. Now that's just one way. The second way to tune your guitar we'll call harmonic relative tuning. We're gonna utilize harmonics to get a more precise way of tuning the guitar. It's the same concept. We're tuning the guitar to itself, but in this case, we're gonna use harmonics. So what we're gonna do for this way is we're gonna start out on the fifth fret harmonic of the low E and match that to the seventh fret harmonic of the A string, like so. sounds pretty good. And with this harmonic way, you're gonna to start to notice that uh, wobble sensation. You'll get a, a way better read on that. It's gonna be higher pitched, but since the harmonics are higher pitched, you're gonna notice that you'll be able to dial in the strings much closer in terms of pitch accuracy. And then the next set is gonna be the fifth fret of the A string uh, harmonic, matching to the seventh fret harmonic of the D string, like so. Same pattern for the D and the G. Fifth fret harmonic of the D matches to the seventh fret harmonic of the G. And just for the just for kicks, I want to show you what it sounds like out of tune. You can kind of hear it really sync up. 
Now, as for the harmonic tuning of the G and the B string, you can do it, but it's very difficult. So what I'll often do is just opt for the fretted version here. Fourth fret of the G matching to the open B string. Again, you can use the harmonics, but it'll be the fourth fret of the G matching to the fifth fret of the B. It's a little bit harder to do, so again, I just kind of opt for the fretted version there. And last but certainly not least, the fifth fret harmonic of the B matching to the seventh fret harmonic of the high E. And there you have it. That's a harmonic way of tuning. Essentially, remember 5 7 until you get to the G and the B string and you got it. Fifth fret of the low E to the seventh fret of the A. Same with the A and the D. Same with the D and the G. Fretted for the G and the B. And then fifth and seventh for the B and the high E. And there you have it, two different ways to tune your guitar without a tuner. Now, this is really important. If I lost off any tips that would help your fellow guitar players, please leave them in the comments below. And I also wanna know how you like the lesson. So please leave that in the comments as well. And if you like this lesson, I know that you're gonna absolutely love my five day acoustic guitar challenge. It's a really cool series of exercises and different rhythm patterns and all sorts of acoustic guitar goodness delivered to your email every day for five days. It's gonna help you discover new techniques, new licks, and most importantly, it's gonna help supercharge your practice routine. All you have to do to sign up, and by the way, it's really quick. It only takes about 10 to 15 seconds. All you have to do to sign up is click the link here in the video or in the description below. And within 15 seconds, you can be playing your very first acoustic guitar challenge exercise. I hope to see you in there. And if not, I'll see you on the next lesson. Thanks a lot for checking us out.